If you ever need to save a PDF of a note on your iPhone or your iPad, here's how you do it. Inside the note, tap the ellipses at the top right. Then scroll down and find print. Tap print. Now after you do this, you're going to see a thumbnail of your note show up here. You're just going to take two fingers and pinch out on the thumbnail until it becomes big. Now this is a PDF. So when you tap the share button at the bottom left, you can send it through messages, your email app, or you can save it to files. Hey folks, I recently published a video on Apple Notes with power user tips and hidden features. And you all just seem to love that video. So I challenged myself to come up with even more things about Apple Notes that you probably don't know about yet. And not to toot my own horn too much, I succeeded. So let's just dive right in to get more tips for the deceptively powerful app that is Apple Notes. There are quite a few handy gestures in Notes. So let's say I accidentally delete some text and I want to put it back. I can actually take three fingers and swipe to the left. So if I do that, you'll see that the text comes back. That's undo. And redo is swiping with three fingers to the right. So if I do that, now my text is gone again. Super useful, right? Here's another way to undo. What you can do is just shake your phone. I'm gonna shake my phone. It says undo typing. I'll be like, yes, undo. There we go. You can also use three fingers to copy and paste. Let me show you how that works. Here I've got some text selected and I can take three fingers to scrunch in to copy. So I'm just going to scrunch in with three fingers and now I've copied it. And then I can go somewhere else and scrunch out or expand with three fingers and it pastes. And now here is a little neat bonus gesture. If you haven't already seen this in one of my other videos, you can use two fingers to multi-select. So I just tap two fingers and I go up and you see now I've selected a bunch of notes. Super duper handy. It's really easy to see when you last edited a note or when you created it. Let me open a note. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that at the top, a date shows up. So I'm just going to tap that date at the top. It's a little precise work, but if I tap it, now it says the note was created on a certain date. And if I tap it again, you go back to seeing when it was last edited. In a shared note, you can get even more information. So if I open a shared note right here, and then at the top right, I tap that little person icon, and then I tap show highlights. Now you'll see that this thing pops up on the left, which shows you who edited this note and what they did. For example, if I scroll down, can you see here where it says Peter plus one on the 28th of March? and I changed the capitalization of the word text. This is a really play-by-play -play edit version control of what's happened to this particular note. In notes, you can mark up attachments like scanned documents. So here I've got a scanned copy of a print of the US Declaration of Independence. So if I just tap on that document, then I tap the share button at the top right, and then I go to markup I get a bunch of options. First of all, I can use one of the markers here, such as this marker, the second on the left, and I can just start highlighting some stuff that I find interesting. That's one thing I can do. But I can also tap the plus button at the bottom right and choose, for example, the arrow that you see here. If I tap the arrow, I can make it point to something, or I can insert a signature. If I press plus and then signature, I can add a signature if I need to, um, or use one of my existing ones. I'll use one of my existing ones right here and just insert that onto the document, you know, like I was also one of the signers. <laughs> in notes on iPad, you can add a link to a specific email, which can be really, really useful. Here I am looking at an email in my email app, which is hey over at hey.com. But this works just the same in Apple Mail. Just make sure you're looking at an email. Then you're gonna take a finger and swipe in from the bottom right of your iPad screen until this panel pops up. This panel is called Quick Notes and it is super handy. You can drag it around. Now what you gotta do is you gotta press that add link button. So I'm gonna have tapped that and now you'll see a link to this particular email lives inside this note. You can also add text, you can do whatever you want. You can add multiple links, etc. etc. I'm gonna tap done. Now if I go into Apple Notes, you'll see that here in the folder screen, there's a Quick Notes folder at the top. So if I'm gonna tap Quick Notes, here I am in the folder, I can tap it. This is just a regular note with a link to that email. Watch what happens. I'm gonna tap that link where it says, open, you earned a commission. Boom, it takes me back to the email. Isn't that super cool? This could be incredibly handy if, for example, you've got a meeting coming up, you're preparing for a meeting, but during the meeting, you wanna be able to quickly refer to a specific email, just add it as a link to your notes for that meeting. 
you can add notes to your phone's control center for quick access. Now control center is this panel that shows up if I swipe in from the top right. This is control center. Let's add notes as a button here. We're gonna go out of control center and then we're gonna open the settings app. Under settings, we're gonna find control center. And in there, you'll see there's a heading that says included controls. So if you scroll down to notes and then tap the plus sign to the left of notes, notes get added to this included controls section. Now, if I open control center by again, swiping in from the top right, you'll see that there's a button for notes. Now this also works when your phone is locked and that's especially handy. So now my phone is locked. Now, if I tap my phone screen, and open control center, I can tap that plus button and immediately start typing a note. Really handy for when you quickly want to jot something down on the go. On iPhone, iPad, and the Mac, you can search across all of your notes as well as within one particular note. Let me show you how that works. On iPhone or iPad, all you do in notes is you swipe down to pull up the search bar. And now I can search for something, for example, for declaration. And you'll see the Declaration of Independence shows up. You can also search for specific types of notes. For example, shared notes, lock notes, notes with checklists, notes with scanned documents, etc. Now to search inside a note, tap on the ellipses at the top right, and then at the bottom, tap find in note. And if I do that, you'll see this pop up. Now I can type, for example, the word model, and you'll see that a bunch of matches come up. And I can use the arrows towards the right of the search bar to flick through the various results. On the Mac, you can search across all of your notes using the keyboard shortcut Option Command F. If I hit that keyboard combination, you'll see that my cursor focuses on this search box on the right. Just like on the iPhone and the iPad, we can search for certain types of notes or just for text inside notes. So if I search for Final Cut Pro, I'll see my search results on here on the left. To search inside a specific note, just use the keyboard shortcut Command F. So when I hit Command F, I will see this box pop up and I can type, for example, men, and I'll see all instances of men. I can actually also replace these instances now by checking the replace box here. And then for example, I can replace men with people. I can just type people here, right? And then I can start going through them one by one. So I can click replace and you see this one gets replaced. Don't want to replace this one because it says government and I can cycle through and go to the next one and hit replace again and then hit done. In Apple Notes, you can also insert tables into a note. Let me start a new note and let's say I am hosting a Sunday potluck. I'm going to insert a table by tapping the icon to the left of AA right above the keyboard. Now you'll see that we have a table. Now, what do I want to have in this table? I want to have person and I want to keep track of what food they're bringing and I want to keep track of how many servings they're bringing, how many people they are going to feed. And to do that, I'm going to need to add a column. To add a column, I'm going to tap those three ellipses right above food. It's a bit finicky sometimes. And then I'm going to press that arrow to the right and you'll see now there's an option add column. I'm going to add a column and I'm going to call it servings. Now I want to have that whole first row bold to just denote that it is a heading row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the three ellipses to the left of it and then I'm gonna tap BIU and then tap bold. Now this looks like a heading. And now I'm going to actually tap the three dots to the left of the second row and I'm gonna say add a row and add another row. And now I can say that Jacqueline is bringing this and Jane is bringing that and Bob is bringing such and such and I can fill out my table. Apple Notes has widgets that you can put on one of your home screens or on the so-called today view, which we'll get to in a minute. Here I am on a home screen. I'm just gonna take a finger and just hold it anywhere on some empty space until things start jiggling. Once they start jiggling, you'll see this plus button at the top left. I'm going to tap that. Now we'll see this screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to search for notes and then tap the notes app. And now you'll see the available widgets. There's four of them. You can show a folder, a bigger folder widget or an even bigger folder widget, or you can show one particular note. Let's start there. If I tap add widget, the widget shows up here and I can just hold it, tap and hold it and drag it around to where I want it to go. Then I can tap done at the top right. Now, if I wanna change which note it displays, I'm actually just gonna tap it and hold it. And then I'm going to say edit widget. And with edit widget, I can click here and I can choose a different note to show. For example, I can decide to show the Sunday potluck note here and that shows up. Now, if I tap it, it quickly opens the Sunday potluck note. Now let's add a note to your today view, which is what you get when you're on your first screen and you swipe to the right, 
this screen right here is your today view. I'm going to tap edit and then the top left again, I'm going to click plus. We're going to search for notes, tap notes. And now let's say I want to add the really big folder widget. I'm going to tap add widget and now it lives here. So if you're on your home screen, you can swipe to the right and you'll see the widgets show up. Now let's say that we want to show a different folder here. So what I can do is I can actually hold that widget the same way we did it before and tap edit widget. I can just change it. Let's say I want to show all of my coaching notes and I can tap out of it. And now all of my coaching notes will show up here for quick access. Very handy. Now, Apple Notes lets you organize things by tags as well as by folders. And by the way, if you don't know what tags are and folders and how they work together, you should watch my other Apple Notes video, which you know, I'll put a link up on the screen to it right now and also in the description below so you can go watch that. So let's say you use tags and you want to have a widget that shows all of your notes with a specific tag. I'm going to tap the folder icon at the bottom left. Then I'm going to tap new smart folder and I'm going to call it templates and I'm going to tap the template tag. Now it will, this folder will just show all notes that have the template tag assigned. So it's effectively doing the same thing as the tag. Now we see what we have this template smart folder here. Now we can change the widget by going back to the widget, long tapping it, tapping edit widget, and then from the folder choosing templates. Now it's showing all of my template notes right here. You can add so-called rich content to a note and a rich content is just a nicely formatted link, but this can be really helpful. And this works well from Apple's own apps like maps, music, podcasts, etc., as well as from third party apps like perhaps Twitter. Now, let me show you a useful scenario. I am about to go on a trip to Athens. So I'm actually going to create a new note, which I'm going to call trip to Athens. And I'm going to trip to Athens. And I'm going to add a few things to this note. So I'm going to tap done and go out of it. Now, first of all, I like to get in the mood and I want to listen to a podcast about ancient Greece. What I'm going to do in my favorite podcasting app, which is Overcast right here, is I'm going to tap the share icon at the top left. I'm going to tap that share icon, tap share link, and then I'm going to find notes. I'm going to scroll to the right and find notes. I tap notes and now I can save this link to a new note or if I tap where it says new note at the top, if I tap that I can actually start searching for or just drilling down to find the specific note that I want to add it to. So I'm going to tap notes and then choose the trip to Athens note and then tap save. And now if I go to that trip to Athens note, you'll see that this got added a link to this podcast episode. Let's do that again from the maps app. So here I'm in the maps app and I'm looking at Athens. Now I want to go to some nice vegan restaurants in Athens. So I'm going to search for vegan restaurants in Athens and a bunch of them are going to come up. Now let's say that I think this one right here looks pretty good and I want to add that to my notes so I can refer back to it later. I'm going to actually scroll down on this panel until I see the share button. I'm going to tap the share button and repeat the process. We're going to find notes. We're going to find the trip to Athens note and already remembered it because it's the last one that we added stuff to and then tap save. And now we've got that. Now we've got two things sitting here in this note. So this is starting become, to become a repository for my trip. Let's do one more. Now I'm obviously going to visit the Acropolis in Athens. So here's some information about visiting the Acropolis. And it would be very nice to have that in my note, or at least a link to this page. I'm going to tap share at the bottom. We're here in Safari. And I'm going to do the same thing. Find that note, trip to Athens, tap save and go back. And now I've got this nice repository here of all the information that I might need on my trip. This works on the Mac too, by the way. So here I have another restaurant in Athens that I'd like to visit. Let's say I want to add that to my trip to Athens note that I've got over here. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to click this button, which is add link. Now when I do it, it's going to scan other apps that I have open, such as Apple Maps for links. And I can click add link right next to Vegan Beat, which is the restaurant. There we go. Now it's inserted and it works for third party apps, such as for Things 3. If I click this right here, for example, I can add a link to a project in things that I've got for preparing my May trip. If I click add link, now when I click this, it will open things to that specific project. Now, while we're here on the Mac, I want to show you something else. In my previous video on Apple Notes, I showed you how on iPhone and iPad, you can quickly see at a glance all of the documents, such as scans that you've attached to your notes. Well, it turns out you can do this on the Mac too. On the Mac, if you're in Apple Notes, at the top, go to View. And then when you click View, 
click show attachments browser and you'll see this this is a list of all the scans that i have attached or i can click maps to show all the maps i've attached or websites to see all the website links i've inserted there's another way you can get here though if i click on uh, right click here on the toolbar and then i click customize toolbar I can actually add a few buttons that don't normally live on the toolbar. And one of them is this attachments button right here. So let's just add that over here. And while we're at it, let's add this folder button here and I'll show you what that does in a second. And then I'm just gonna tap done. Now, first of all, this folder button just collapses the folders uh, here and puts it back out, which I find quite easy to have or quite handy. But you can use this button and get to all of your attachments just the same way, super, super handy. Sometimes you might accidentally delete a note, for example, like this, whoops. Now, if that happens, no worries, you can find it back. All you do is you swipe all the way to the left from this main screen until you come to the main folder screen, and you'll see that it says recently deleted. So if I go into recently deleted, it'll show a bunch of the notes that I've recently deleted. Now you can restore them by going into a note and then tapping the folder icon at the bottom and then putting it, for example, in the notes folder. And now it's back there. Now you can also select multiple notes with two fingers like I showed you before and say these ones I want to move back and I tap move at the bottom left and I can tap the notes folder again. On your iPhone or your iPad you can change the background of notes. To do that just open a note and tap the ellipses at the top right then tap lines and grids and you can see you can have tightly spaced lines, more widely spaced lines, or one of the grids. So I'm gonna choose this grid over here. And this can be handy if I want to draw, for example, on my iPad with an Apple Pencil, but could also be with my finger, or maybe if I just wanna play tic-tac-toe. All you gotta do to start drawing is tap that icon at the, the third from the left at the bottom, and then I can start doing tic-tac-toe, whatever I want. Now, my last tip for today is duplicating a note. If you use Apple Notes on iPhone or iPad, this can be pretty fiddly because you've got to go into a note, select all the text and images and whatever, then tap copy, start a new note and paste it in there. But if you also have a Mac, the Mac actually has a built-in way to do it. Just right click on a note and choose duplicate. And of course, once you do this, your duplicated note will also get synchronized to your iPhone and your iPad. Hey, if you haven't already watched my other videos on Apple Notes, be sure to do that next. In the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.